In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a frequency distribution table given a data set using a stat uh, crunch. Let me show you how uh, to do this. It's very straightforward. If you have a data set and let's say you're asked to create a frequency distribution table with, uh, let's say, five classes. That means five rows uh, of data. Uh, here is how you do it. If you are doing homework online, you're going to get the data set. You can uh, click on it and it will open in a stat uh, crunch. Uh, and then uh, you can use a stat crunch to create the table. But you have to know how many classes do you need. So let's say we need five classes. First of all, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to sort this column of data from lowest to largest. Here is how you sort it. You go to data, you go to sort, you select the column, and sort the criteria right here. Sort by variable one in ascending order, and then compute. It has been sorted. In order to create a table, what did I say, five classes, we need to know the class width. Here is how you find the class width. This is the only work that you need to do before you can use uh, StatCrunch. The class width, guys, you take the largest value, which is what? What's the largest value here if I scroll down? 70. And then you subtract it from the lowest value, which is 12. What is 70 minus uh, 12? 58. And then you divide by 5. Why divide by 5? Because we need, uh, we, I said we need 5 classes. If you divide 58 by 5, you will get 11.6. You need to round this number up to the nearest whole number. So how, what do what does 11.6 round up to? 12. This is your class width. And now we're ready to create a frequency distribution table. Watch. You go to stat. You go to tables. You go to frequency. You select the variable right here. Okay, we want frequency and relative frequency both. You can do just frequency, and I'll tell you what relative frequency means, but that's this is what's important here, right here. We start at the lowest value, which was what? 12. And now we need the class width, and which I said it was 12 as well, right? Because uh, 58 divided by 5 it gave me 11.6 which rounds up to uh, 12. it's just coincidence guys that we starting at 12 and the class width is 12 and hit compute and this is your table the frequency the distribution table now let me explain what 12 to 24 means all values from 12 to 24, including 12, but excluding 24. So 24 is not included because you see parentheses, that means this is not included. So that should be 12 to 23. And this one, 24 to 35, 36 to 47, 48 to 59, and 60 to 71. These are the uh, frequencies and the relative relative frequency guys means you take 13 and divide it by the total so this is uh, i have 40 values so this is 13 divided by 40 this is 7 divided by 40 this is 8 divided by 40 this is 7 divided by 40 and this is 5 divided by 40. Um, i can show you how to let's say if you want to uh, export you know just this table to uh, a word document so you just copy okay it's telling me how to copy so you just select it like this Control c and then you go and paste it into a word uh, a document 
So if you were doing homework online and you got this answer and you want to input this answer again, you don't input 24 because, look, parentheses means 24 is not included. If I could erase this one, I would just replace it with 23. And the next one is 35, 47 right here, uh, 59, and 71. Remember that bracket means the number is included and parentheses means the number is uh, excluded. Now, how do you create a histogram? Let me show you how to create a histogram right here. Just go to applets, histogram with slider, select the column which is variable one, hit compute, and now guys, what was the starting point? We started at 12, so just go up to 12 right here and what was the bin width the class width it was 12 as well just increase it to 12 and this is your uh, histogram that would be your histogram right here this is the first uh, bar the second one the third the fourth the fifth the histogram is like a bar graph but the bars are uh, connected uh, what else uh, we need to know here again guys to sort a column here's how you do it you just go to data you go to sort you select the column that you want to sort and you just sort the criteria select the column again right here and hit compute and it's going to sort the column for you so you can easily get the lowest value and the largest value because you needed to compute uh the class width and then later in another section you're going to learn about stem and leaf plots let me show you not just how to create that it's very easy let's say i want to create a stem and leaf plot for variable one data just compute and look this is the stem and leaf plot the only thing that's missing here is a key you need to put a key to tell a reader that one uh, slash two means 12 or 2 slash 0 means 20, or 5 slash 0 means 50, so they know how to read the graph. So this is stem and leaf plot. That uh, concludes uh, what you uh, need to know as far as creating frequency distribution tables.